Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another quick build. We're gonna take a look at Zed today and cover his runes, masteries, and his abilities, and of course, his items. As for Zed's abilities, at level one, put a point into your Razia Sharkin. And then at level two, put a point into your Living Shadow. And then at level three, put a point into your Shadow Slash. We're gonna max out our Razor Shurken first, and then we're gonna max out our Shadow Slash second and then Living Shadow last. Don't forget to put points into your ultimate at levels 6, 11, and 16. As for your rune page for him, we're gonna go ahead and take our mid or top AD page. This is pretty consistently generic, which is good. What it is is attack damage marks. It is the health seals, although if you know you're going up against armor most of the time, obviously you take armor seals here. And then we're gonna take magic resist per level glyphs, and then we're gonna take attack damage quintessences. As for our masteries page that we're going to take, we're going to take our AD mid page, which is of course 21 in the offense, nine in the defense, and zero in utility. Over in the offensive tree, pretty standard. Make sure you take your double-edged sword because you want to carry. And then nine in the defense just to help you out early game. As for the items that you want to take when you are playing as Zed, starting off there's two ways to go. You can either take the Doran's Blade in a health pot or the Long Sword and some health pots. Either of these starts works, just depends on what you like to take. As for your first few trips back, the Brutalizer and the Bilgewater Cutlass will be your first main items you will be building towards. And then, obviously, start building towards your boots. Now, core items, you're obviously going to take the Brutalizer eventually and get that into a Black Cleaver. Typically, you'll actually finish off the Bilgewater and finish off the Blade of the Ruined King. It is a good item, and with the active on it, it makes you deal more damage and helps slow them, which is great, actually, for you when you need, like, one more or two more autos in there before your ultimate pops. And then, as for your boots... Kind of depends on what kind of lane you're in. It is either usually going to be the Merc Treads or the Ninja Tabby. Occasionally, people will take mobility boots if they are going to roam a lot, though. As for a full build, it may look like this. You'll have your boot choice, you will have your Blade of the Ruined King and your Black Cleaver. Then you're going to take either the Last Whisper next or the Ravenous Hydra, increasing our damage by quite a lot. And this gives us even more lifesteal, which is even better. So we're going to do that. And then round things out with a Guardian Angel because resists are nice and coming back to life is even better and then if you want something different for some options there's two good ones I don't know why but a lot of people like the bloodthirster don't get me wrong it's not terrible it can work if you want to do the bloodthirster it's a good option and then the maw of Malmortis is fantastic against those AP mid laners that have a lot of burst it will definitely save your life and still gives you a lot of damage so Substitute this into the build if you really need a little bit of magic resist. But that is going to be a quick build for Zed. Try it out. Let me know how it works. Have fun with it. You'll probably crush some people because it's Zed and he still hurts a lot. And have fun. Other than that, good luck on the Fields of Justice.